the central question in this year's general election is simply this. Who is best placed to finish the job and to do so fairly? There are two huge risks which now loom large. The threat from those whose plans would undo the economic repair job and the threat from the populists who want to put their own narrow interests ahead of the interests of the country. The biggest threat to our economy and our public services comes from Labour and the Conservatives, both of whom are now reverting to type as the election approaches. Labour says, trust us, we'll fix the economy and raise living standards. But they won't. They are a clear and present danger to the recovery. Their economic policy consists of huge borrowing and total denial about their responsibility for what happened last time. We've already had the risible sight of Ed Balls claiming Labour are the party of the centre ground. Here you have the man who, as city minister, let the banks get away with utterly irresponsible behaviour, now claiming he is the guy you should trust with the economic recovery. It's like waking up to find a late-night voicemail from an ex saying that they've changed and it will all be different if only you give them one more chance. But it won't be different. Labour will borrow and borrow. Under Labour, we could be paying billions more every year just on the interest on our debt money that should be spent on schools, hospitals and frontline public services instead. On the other hand, you have the Conservatives unveiling posters saying we should stay on the road to a stronger economy. And indeed, we should. But they don't plan to stay on the road. They want to stray far from it. They're trying to sell you an ideological approach to cuts to public services packaged up as continuity. It's a con. It's like a mobile phone salesman offering to renew your existing contract and then cutting the number of calls you can make.